Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys our updated family nighttime routine as a family of five. So on this night, I started dinner at four, around 4.40. I usually started between now and five. Um, and then we eat dinner and then that's when everything starts getting crazy busy around here. Um, I just feel like right after dinner, it's just hustle and bustle until the kids go to bed. Now this night I filmed on a Sunday, which I don't know why I did that because that's pretty much the busiest night. And it was just super hard for me to film this, but I hope you guys do enjoy it. Um, Monroe is seven, so she's in second grade. So this is why our nights are so crazy on Sundays. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you did. So anytime I'm in the kitchen trying to cook anything or bake anything, both of these girls are in the kitchen right alongside of me trying to do the exact same thing, which I totally enjoy it. And then Arlo at this time is usually in the living room with Malcolm um, or she's sleeping. So this night she was just playing in her little bouncy house while me and the girls cooked up dinner. Also this recipe I will leave down below I think it's called a garlic shrimp and then you just add whatever vegetable on the side and whatever type of like healthy um, like pasta. So I forgot zucchini noodles because that is what I was going to use with this but instead I had cauliflower rice so that is what I end up making.
Usually when Zaya helps me make her lunches or dinners, she's been all for eating them right after. But as you guys can see tonight, she really was not happy with the choice. <laughs> I think the only thing that she really ate was the broccoli. Okay, so right after dinner is done, Malcolm will go ahead and take on the dishes. Um, and then that is when I will go upstairs with both of the little two and we will get ready for bath time. Malcolm usually meets us upstairs right after and he helps me. Just here recently, we started bathing Arlo and Zaya together and they literally have so much fun together. Zaya loves helping Arlo's hair in the bath and just she just helps, she just loves helping and Arlo enjoys all of the attention from her. Um, but as you guys can see, Malcolm is literally covering his face the whole time. He so did not want me to record bath time routine, but um, it's part of our nighttime routine. So this is why he's covering his face. And I only got a short clip of this just because Zaya is literally all over the tub and standing up. And of course, I don't want all her privates and stuff showing. But yeah, so this is us doing bath time. I usually am much more prepared than this, you guys. Um, I don't know why, but the whole time I showed these clips, I was in and out of the bathroom the whole time. After bath time, Arlo is usually super happy and she's usually giggling and I'm making silly faces at her and she just has the best time. But tonight she was really tired and hungry. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but she was crying pretty much the whole time I was putting her clothes on her. So I was trying to do it super fast. And um, after this, I fed her and she fell asleep. And this is super early for her. I think this was like 6.30 when she fell asleep. Okay, so now it's time for Monroe to take her shower. Since it's Sunday, I will be washing her hair today. I usually start washing her hair on Sundays and then I'll wash it again, probably like the middle towards the end of the week. And then I'll go ahead and share with you guys all of the products that I've been using in their hair. I use this in Monroe and size. The spray and conditioner I've actually been using in their hair for a while now. I go in between the sun one for the summer and then I'll switch to the lice prevention once Monroe goes to school. It works really good in both of their hairs and helps get the knots out. And then I've just started using this new um, two other creams I'll show you guys on here. And I do recommend them. They are so good in their hair and it's not heavy. Um, I was using the Shea Moisture and I still like it, but this one I feel like is so much better. When does this happen in the movie? Now. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now. What happened to then? Past that. When? Just now. We're at now now. Go back to then.
So I've always picked out her clothes the night before because it was just so helpful. But one thing that I found even more helpful this school year is we pick out everything that she's going to wear for the whole week. That way we don't have to rush around and worry about that in the morning. The girls usually go to bed, the girls meaning Zaya and Monroe, usually go to bed at 8 o'clock is when they are in their beds. So we will start brushing our teeth at about 7.40ish. So here I'm just brushing her teeth and really she just loves to eat the toothpaste. <laughs> Now usually at this time I'm feeding Arlo and Malcolm will go ahead and say Zaya's prayers with her and tuck her into bed while I'm feeding Arlo and then I'll come in and give Zaya a kiss goodnight. And since Arlo went to sleep early tonight, I really wanted to say Zaya's prayers with her because it's just so cute when she does it. Anybody else can do this. I feel like every time it's time to go to bed, she has a million stories that she needs to tell me. <laughs> so I'm usually in here for a long time listening to her stories and trying to tell her, okay, it's time to go to bed. I've said it about 10 times before I actually close the door. So since Arlo actually fell asleep earlier tonight than usual, I did not put her in her sleep sack because I was guessing that she was going to wake up again and feed one more time before she went to sleep. Well, she didn't. So I ended up just taking her out of her bassinet to put her in her sleep sack oh, baby, and then putting her back into her bassinet. I wanted you to be Inside my once all the kids are in bed, I will go downstairs and fill up my water and then start packing Monroe's lunch. The living room is usually already picked up by now. Malcolm usually will already be downstairs after I'm upstairs with Monroe listening to all her stories. He would already have picked up the living room and the kitchen. So all I would have to do is just pack Monroe's lunch. I did do a school lunch idea video. If you guys are interested, I will go ahead and leave the card above.
I'm done packing her lunch is usually when I will go upstairs and take a shower and then I would just get in bed and either scroll through my phone or just go straight to sleep or me and Malcolm will catch up on a show. So that is it for my nighttime routine, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you guys are new and I will see you guys in the next one.